everyone, I'm Kyle Lyon. I'm a pre-sales engineer here at Solutions PT. And today we're going to be going over the concept of creating a plant model within a Viva system platform. So what I've got up here is a sort of loose example of how you might begin to structure a hierarchy according to the ISA 88 principles, just as an example um, of a set of guidelines that you would use to do this. So you can see that what we've, what we've got is we've got a hierarchy that goes from site down to plant, down to plant area, and so on. So you can see that we've got multiple sites here, and then in any individual site, we can then drill down into the actual plant, the area of the plant, what it's doing maybe, and then from there we go into uh, the equipment and the actual uh, devices themselves. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to create a very simple example of a bakery. So I've got the hierarchy here and you can see that I've matched it to mine. So my site is going to be just called bakery. I'm going to have two separate parts of the plants so of production and operations. I'm going to split that into areas of dough making, baking and packaging. And then I'm going to add in some equipment, some mixers, some ovens, and some packing lines. And we'll just, uh, sort of build it up from there dynamically. What I'm going to do is I'll just switch over to my system platform where I've got pretty much a blank galaxy. All I've done is I have created the uh, bakery area here. And then what we're going to do is we've got the GR and the engine. Um, so just create those just to start with so I can apply objects to them. Uh, all we're going to do is we're going to lay out the skeleton of the actual um, plant through areas. So we're going to create an area for production and an area for operations. And then those areas that we discussed regarding uh, the actual the actual making of the bread. So we're going to make uh, baking. Then dough making. And packaging. Now that we've got those, what we'll do is we'll start establishing that hierarchy now. So we know that uh, operations is going to belong to a bakery, as is production. We're creating that. And then within production, that's going to split apart into baking, dough making, and packaging. Creating a further level of derivation now, I might have multiple lines within any, within any of these plant areas. So if I make dough making line one, or packaging line one, and then baking line one. And then we can drag each of these to their relevant areas. You can see that we're still just creating more and more of that, that subdivision and that, that hierarchical view. So I've got some pre-made objects here um, that we can drop in. So our mixes are gonna go into our dough making line that will be appearing under deployment now. Then our oven, in fact, actually, create an instance of them. That's not made an instance of them automatically. So our mixer is going to be going to our dough making line, our oven is going to be going to our baking line, and our packing line object is going to be going into our package line one. So you can see how quickly we've already started to create a hierarchy, uh, a hierarchical view based on those concepts that we went over before. So down from site to plan areas, down to the subdivision areas, down to lines, and then down to the actual pieces of equipment and the actual devices that we're talking to. And that's how easy it is to sort of get started and really start having a hierarchy that makes a difference. So this will serve you in good stead for when you're creating things like OMI applications that 
built that it leveraged this model view um, and use it to create navigation and associations and drive context. It's, it's all part of a very important foundation. So that is essentially the concept of creating a plant model. Thanks for watching.